Oh, you could still see me. Well, <laughs> guys, what's going on? Uh, let me change the text on this scrolling thingy here. Um, 49ers fans, you may want to shield your eyes because 49ers, Eric Armstead, Armstead to miss weeks with a sprains knee. Oof, so sorry, guys. Yeah, this sucks. Um, this is really rough for you 49ers fans. Eric Armstead expected to miss several, several weeks. Um, and I believe this was via coach. Um, yeah, coach Kyle Shanahan told reporters today, let me silence my freaking phone. Sorry. 49ers defensive lineman Eric Armstead to be sidelined for multiple weeks due to a sprained knee. Coach Kyle Shanahan told reporters today. Awful, terrible news for you guys. Um, ooh, let's get this in the background. Um, yeah. I'm really sorry for you guys because uh, that just sucks. 49ers, Chargers, um, who's another team? Maybe, maybe the Raiders are always riddled with injuries season after season before training camp even begins. Uh, Ravens. Ravens are another team that's riddled with injuries. Eric Armstead, been in the league since 2015 when he was 22 years old. <clears throat> He appeared in all 16 games as a rookie, started one, recorded two sacks, um, three tackles for lost, blah, blah, blah. Let's skip ahead, shall we? Um, let's just say his standout season. Let's go to 2018, okay? 2018 was the first year, his age 25 season, and his fourth season in the league, where he started and played all 16 games of a season. He recorded three sacks, 48 total tackles, um, stupid ads popping up on this website. Uh, six tackles for loss and 12 quarterback hits. He only recorded three sacks though, but 12 quarterback hits, uh, six tackles for loss and 48 total tackles. That's a huge step up in the right direction for a guy like Eric Armstead. Um, he's, he's a defensive, uh, end. So, you're not always looking for, it's not always just about sacks. You got to remember this. It's just about play and run stopping and, and pass rushing and just putting pressure on the quarterback. It's not always about the sack. It's not always about that. Sometimes you could, ha you know, have 16 sacks, but really be a bad run stopper or, you know, a good pass rusher, but a bad run stopper. Uh, so let's, let's go on to 2019 where he played and started all 16 games. Again, he had two pass deflections, two forced fumbles, one forced, uh, one fumble recovery, 10 sacks. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 sacks. Okay. Someone just tried to open my front door just now. No, it's a neighbor. Um, 10 sacks is huge. 54 total tackles. He had uh, 11 tackles for loss and 18 quarterbacks, quarterback hits, which was a, a career high. And to this day, is still a career high. So that was his truly breakout season, okay? And uh, since then, he has recorded nine and a half sacks. He heads into the 2022 season. If he is he going to be ready? Is he going to be ready? Well, at least multiple weeks with a spring knee. So this is just bad news. You guys need Eric Armstead, um, but guys like Nick Bosa, you know, they're going to get more. They're going to get more attention now. So you need players to take attention off of guys like Nick Bosa. Um, Armstead was definitely one of those guys, but he. Sh let's hope he's back and ready for. Uh, he's probably not going to play in the preseason. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, and hopefully he's ready for, uh, for for week one. Man, I am not finding my words today. If you guys are a fan of the NFL, just hit subscribe. Okay, because I'm, I'm just rambling. Hashtag ramble, because that's all I do. Not very good. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.